What is going on guys? Thanks for joining my channel Bobin Hood. This is Bob. Today is Sunday, December 6th and today guys I'm going to share with you guys the two dividend stocks I will be purchasing next week and I will also be sharing of one more stock that I will be buying but it is not a dividend stock and also I will be going over how my week went. I did do a pretty decent amount of moves last week so let's get started. So as of Friday I was down $349 after hours down $63 for the week, I did end up being up $896, and for the month, I was up $28,367. If you're not familiar with my channel, watch a video about two or three weeks ago. I did post on how I got to this point. Three months, I'm up $10,466. One year, I am up $5,710, and of all time, I'm up $4,347. So first of all, guys, I did do a sell a call option on Coca-Cola uh, at a strike price of $53.50. It did get um, executed, so I was forced to share all of my 100 shares. I did buy it at a price of $52.28 on November 23rd, and I did do a call and get $6 contract on doing that sell. So, and I did also get a $41 dividend. So overall, I made about $169 in about a week. So that's not too, too bad of a, um, you know, week just to get this dividend, spending about five grand on this stock here. I do plan on possibly buying back into Coca-Cola, but we'll see where the share goes. If it does go down on Monday, possibly depending on uh, how much stock I buy in the other two. Next thing I did do, I did invest in Nikola. It did go down severely here when they were talking about the GM deal was falling through. So it was at the all time low. So I did end up buying um, 175 shares and also another 10 shares when it went down a little more. And I did end up selling it two days later. I did make about $250 on this deal here just in a two day process. The next thing I did do, I did sell my U.S. Global Jets ETF, even though I would like to hold on to the stock long term for it to shoot up about 5-6% in a day. I just wanted to take the opportunity to sell it. So I'll show you what I did here. I did end up buying 200 shares at a $21.06. And I did end up selling it on the third at probably the peak where it was at at $23.83. And I did make about $553 just off of this deal. I do plan on buying this stock sooner than later um, if it does go back down as well. And if we do check out what I did to get this money here, we check Amazon. I did reduce my shares in Amazon. I did end up selling six shares total at a higher price than it's at now. So the average price of these six shares is about 3,200 bucks. Current price right now is at 3,159. So I did make about $240 off of this. Uh, it's kind of sad to see that I own $31,000 worth of this share at this moment and I'm up 66 cents. Um, I do probably plan to reduce this to five shares overall to purchase the next couple stocks that I had. But when I did sell these six stocks, I did end up buying uh, Microsoft. I believe Microsoft is going to take off shortly, especially with the Xbox and the gaming and Christmas going on right now. So I do own a pretty good amount of shares of Microsoft at 125 shares. If this goes in the green to 15, to 15, to 16 on Monday, um, which it definitely can do, I probably will sell a call around 220 to 225, depending on what I can get out of it. Um, but I do plan on selling this stock if it hits 225 to 230 range and putting in something I believe will have a higher dividend pay. So let's get started guys. So the dividends that I will be purchasing tomorrow is going to be AT&T. I already own 100 shares, uh, 200 shares of AT&T. I'm currently up 3.37%. 
Uh, my market value is at $5,900. Reason why I pick AT&T is because it is a high paid dividend stock. They have been paying their dividends for about 30 years. And if you look at them, they don't trade too far up or down. You check the week out, they're up 2%. The month, they're actually up 8%. The three months they're pretty flat at 1.36 percent and you look at the year um, they are still down 22 percent so is AT&T the best company out there no but they're definitely not the worst um, so and with the dividends the dividends are pretty safe uh, paying out so if the telecommunications they are probably the one of the few that has not recovered 100 percent if you check Verizon out they're not only recovered they're thriving right now so if we check out AT&T here so their dividend yield is about 7% annual dividend is two point two dollars and eight cents 62% uh, payout is a little high but it's still manageable um, so basically all that means is the percentage of annual earnings that they pay to the investors in a dividend form so they are one of the most U.S. paying dividends on air. So 98.55% of other dividends in the U.S. they pay higher than. So and they have a 30-year track um, of paying their dividends out is also a bonus. So I feel safe to put money in this stock, maybe not for the increase, which is still technically a possibility because they're down 22%. But even if it stayed in between 28 to 32 dollars um, and paying the 7% dividend. I would still be happy with that. Next dividend I will be buying, uh, which a lot of people own. It's a safe dividend as well. This is COVID pretty much proof on here. They have been thriving as well. Um, and they are a monthly paying dividend. So if we look at the week, they are down 1.39%. 1, 1 they're up 4.6% for the month. Three months, they're actually down 5%. For the year, they're still down about 20%. So there's definitely room to grow. And you look at the five-year trend, just in 2018, they've been on a upward um, track. So this is a pretty safe dividend here. Um, they're paying at a 4.62% dividend. And like I said, they are a monthly dividend. So this is a safe buy just to get a monthly income from them. So I'll probably be buying 100 shares of Realty Income. And the last one I'm going to be probably purchasing, which I got a little slack on to be honest with you, but anything that I say is moves that I am doing. I'm not recommending it for anybody, um, but if you know, do your own research. But I will be investing a little bit more money in Rocket Companies depending on how it opens up on Monday. Um, as you can see for the week when I did buy it, I bought it on the 30th. At about 215 and it went all the way up to about two twenty dollars and seventy cents um, i was planning on possibly selling it at that just making a quick buck but i did hold on to it and it did fall off the reason why i'm still investing in this company um, they announced about a month ago that the company is was may buy up to a billion dollars of its own stock so the reason why companies buy their own stock is because they feel that they are undervalued so when they buy their own stock at this price they believe in their selves and that they are buying it at a cheap price and the stocks will go up um, the other thing as well is there are more people saying that it will go up than go down. I believe it was 27% people think it will go down. Um, so when they have other sellers or calls and they are assigned the stock, if it's not going up, then that will bring the stock up as well. So when they did announce this, the stock was trading around $21.60. So if they were buying, I don't think they bought a million dollars, but if they were buying a billion dollars, if they were buying a good amount of stock around this time, they were sitting around $21 to $22 um, of buying it. So if it's sitting at $19 and some change, I'm sure that they are going to be buying some more and they do assume that the stock will be going up dramatically. So I will probably be buying another 
100 shares of Rocket companies, possibly 200 shares, and also do some covered calls if it does go up. But if for some reason it goes up to $22 to $25 all on a sudden, I will probably be selling my position just to get a quick uh, profit out of this as well. I believe in the company long term, but it still is a volatile company that can go up and down um, just with depending on how the stock market is going and the real estate agent uh, market is going so that will be all today guys um, I will try to do a video on Monday or Tuesday to see what um, my what I actually bought how much I bought and how it's going so if you guys like the video please definitely hit the subscribe as you guys know I'm trying to get to my next level at 200 subscriptions comment below let me know what you think if you think there's other companies I should invest in definitely let me know right now I'm trying to go into more of a safe investing um, than taking a uh, huge uh, risk at this moment um, so definitely comment below and hit the like thank you guys have a good day